Hello. I'm coming to you from my backyard because I just wanted to be outside. It's spring and I'm enjoying the blossoms on this crab apple. Uh, While well, they last, we'll have them for about a week if we're lucky. Uh, and the, the bees will do all their pollinating work. And then over here I've got my lilac bush. I'm so happy that my lilac bush is flowering this year. Last year we had a freeze and I missed a whole year of lilac. So I'm just stepping in here to share some thoughts with you because I've been really honing in on what uh, the process is that we go through when we're sensitive to energy in terms of sort of claiming our power with it. And I've reflected on my process over the past 20 some years. I started on this path when I was 27 and I'm 49. And I wanted to share that with you so you sort of have an idea of what that pathway is in terms of empowering yourself with your energy sensitivity, whether you are an intuitive, an empath, or a healer, or all three, a little bit of all three. And so, um, excuse me if I put my sunglasses on because the sun is bright on my face. It, um, what, I've, what I personally have experienced is that pathway, is you start by learning how to set your space. I call it sort of the boundaries phase, where you get to know your energy field and set your boundaries. And then in that process, you learn some protection tools. You might learn how to use a uh, body of glass or invisibility tools. And then once you've got that comfortable, you step into a phase where you start to get clear about what you're seeing and you quit, you move away from feeling it in your body as the indicator so that you can actually feel more at peace in your own body and into reading it or seeing it with that third eye with your sixth chakra and that's the stage where you really learn how to not go into someone else's space or let them get into your space in order to read but actually be are able to see things with more neutrality I call that the vision or the having sight stage and then the next stage that we go through in our process to empowering our um, relationship with our energy sensitivity is perspective and I see this as when you are able to tell if something that's happening that you're experiencing is you or if it's someone else or if it's something else that's not another person that's impacting your energy field as well as getting really clear on what's your yes and your no having moved out these um, non-neutral influences meaning that you have um, been able to step away from some of the programming and the unconscious pr uh, belief systems that have been influencing whether you, what you see is your yes and your no. Hello jo Jolie and hello Melissa, Marissa. I see a couple people have joined. Um, so that's the third stage of this pathway towards uh, empowering your energy as uh, as, and, and that sixth sense, that sense of being able to feel energy in the world as a natural intuitive empath or healer. The fourth step is all about being able to clear space using that the basis that you have of having boundaries and being able to see what it is and then know when it's not you and then actually start clearing space. That means, um, hi Zo. Call, hey, I, I, I started earlier so those in Europe, which uh, Zoe is, can actually <laughs> be here. Um, that fourth stage is about clearing space. So being able to name those um, uh, energy leaks and know which ones are happening. If someone is, um, you know, if you've got uh, somebody that's trying to energy vampire you or if you uh, um, um, have a chronic energy leak towards uh, past programming around uh, money or around relationships that keep going through a repeat cycle. That fourth stage of our using our empathic intuitive sensitivity to help ourselves and to help our other people in the world that we're in relationship with is understanding how to clear space, whether it's a home, it's our first personal energy field. And then the final stage, the fifth stage in my perspective, is stepping into that spiritual warrior where you're using your energy to cut cords, to you know, unhook hooks, to alter 
your soul contracts to alter your um, your your programming in yourself so there's this pathway we take and I don't they don't always go in that order sometimes we learn our boundaries and then we can jump into getting clear on our yes or our no before we get really clear about what we're seeing psychically separate from ourselves or some sometimes we learn how to clear space um, uh, before we learn how to be really clear about is it me is it someone else or is it something else so these are the, but in my perspective, from what I've witnessed and what I've experienced in all the people that are my clients that are studying this and students, is that there is this process that we go through. And in each of these stages, we gain a le another level of, of seniority with our ability to see, with our ability to know psychically. And, um, and as a, a person that's been on this path for a long time, I find like it, that it's essential for us to continue to revisit that curiosity, to continue to say, okay, what more can I learn to set my boundaries? Because each thing that life presents us gives us a different, mm, almost level of training, right? What we're all going through in the world by, what's happening on the planet with this pandemic is giving all of us energy sensitives this chance to actually recognize, even when we're not having physical contact with people, how much of the energy we feel, how much we can feel the collective energy and how it affects us and how we can set boundaries with it and how we can be loving and healing with, uh, with boundaries. So, you know, part of what I'm doing in my practice group and people that have been part of Empath Strength Training for the last 18 months, um, as you know, today's the last day that this is open for people to join. And then I'll close the group so we can hold the container for that growth process and open it again in about six months. And so in that process, we are, we are not necessarily going in linear order through these different phases, but I've, I teach what the the group is ready to have and sometimes it's more towards that early phase in practicing every single class we practice that first stage of setting our boundaries because we all need to do it every day and honestly once you've done it as a practice for enough time you start doing it automatically so it's not like you actually have to sit and meditate every day but um, in our practice and our setting our space before we go into a next phase of looking at reading something or clearing something we always set those boundaries because that's what empowers us to take the next step so I just invite you to to apply these tools that we've been practicing the last two weeks in this little um, group that I created it's gonna I'm gonna close this group in about you know, probably at the end of next week or something like that, because I know we have tons of things to keep track of, and I don't um, want to keep everyone, you know, uh, distracted with that. But the actual pre the membership group, Empath Strength Training, um, is is going to close registration tonight at midnight my time, which is in about 12 hours. So I'd love to have you in it. I'd love for you to practice taking those different steps of empowering your empathic sensitivity. And it's not a, a group that's just for beginners or just for people that are advanced. It actually is an intermediate class because it we touch on all these different steps in the pathway. And my experience is that even, you know, 20 years after learning some of these skills, I need to revisit them myself because they apply differently. So I, I hope you choose to join me. You can find the information on that um, on another post on this page and um, possibly you have it in your email box because I sent an email out this morning. So please ask me any questions. I'm available to answer questions. If anybody has any, I see some folks that have said hello and joined. I know there's only a couple people on live. Um, but if you see this later and have some questions for me, uh, feel free to type them in and I'll come back and look throughout um, the day and see if there's anything I need to answer for you. So have a beautiful Mother's Day if, if for those who are in the United States. We all have mothers, um, whether they're you know here or in, on, have passed on. So it's a great day to be grateful for who brought us into this world in this lifetime. 
and um, even if they're not part of our lives in the moment. So blessings to you all.